Hello everyone. I think you all have installed uh, Xamp software already. So let's open it and start the first two. And after you have started this, then minimize it, minimize this, and open any browser like Mozilla Firefox or Chrome browser. I am using Chrome browser for this. You can use any of them. Then write localhost. Then add a backslash. And then PHP MyAdmin. You don't need any internet for this. Let's press the database and then create database. Here add the database name. Let's say library management system LMS2. And then press create. And here our LMS2 database have already been added and you can just go to SQL and write the SQL code for creating table or you can go just you can just go to the database and then create the table from here. This is actually more easier than the SQL code so I will just write it make the table from here. Here let's say student is our table name and we will just have four columns. You can have any number you want to and we are just doing this for learning how to use them so let's say let's first name and then add any field name that you want to then add data type worker and because this is our character type the name will be character type so we are using this data type and then give length 100 then last name the data type will be same because we are using character as input 100 then username length and data type will be same then role it will be integer type because this is digit and then give length then press save in the right corner and after that you can see in the structure you can see the field name of our table or column name of our table so we can just modify them here or add or delete some column or um, or actually you can just delete the whole table from there i will i will actually show you there and then later then if we go inside our table you can see four columns but we don't have any value because we have not inserted any value here so let's go to insert from the upper and then insert the value let's give something simple This three will be character type and then another will be integer type value. Then press go. And you can see that here is some SQL code. You can just write like this in the SQL section too to insert or you can just insert it manually. And here the message show that our value have been inserted in our table and from this we can actually generate the php code too this code will be used in our main code and when we open the table you can see our value have been inserted and we can actually see them now and you can insert from here too and you will see the format here automatically if you click on this insert you see the insert format is here you just need to add the value you can see the format of update select that way you can easily modify them too let's insert some more values in our table here 
we can see the format how we need to give the value as input from the SQL code and you see our second value is also inserted now let's give one in one value by writing SQL code let's click on the insert and get the format first and then we need to change the values first let's delete this value formats and then we need to give the values here first three will be characters and the last one will be digit because that was our integer type value after it is done we can just press go and you see the message our value have been inserted so now if we go to the table we can see this value and if we need this code then we can just press on this and now you see the table is showing here and here inside this part there is a code here select star from student so this showing actually this is actually showing the all the value from the table student so here this asterisk or this star sign actually is used for showing all the value so if we want to see a particular columns value so we will use that columns name here let's say we want to see the username column this will not make any change inside the table this will this is just for showing the value and there, nothing will be modified or altered in the table we can just see this according to our likings and we can use this inside our website too for, by changing these codes like this i will show you what we need to do when we are when we will work on our main website and after this you can actually select one particular value one element from this column too and like if you write where then first name equal to x then you can see that whose first name is x that that person's username will only be shown here okay then you can get the php code too and you can use this inside the website in your php code and when you go to the table you see nothing is changed all the values are, are actually like the previous values that were that we have been inserted and if we go to our database again and go to the structure of our table you can actually delete any column if you want to or add a new column if you want to add like we want to delete our roll column click on drop and then ok you see the column is deleted if you go to the table you will see only three column here and then if we want to add another one after the username then you need to go here if you want more than one then add the numbers there and press go then here you need to add the name let's say role type will be integer and add a length and save okay you see the table have been altered successfully so now if you go there you can see the column but the value will be zero because there is no value given now we just created this column added this new column here so you will see only zero as the value now go to the operation if you want to delete the whole table or if you want to delete the values inside the table and keep the column name then you need to press truncate or delete the table like if we want to delete we will press it and then ok you see the database if we click on the database there is no table here and if we want to delete the database we need to go to operation and there in the red letter you can see drop the database if you did drop the database then you can you can see the database anymore and later I will actually show all these uses first you need to practice all this by yourself and see if you can see the column and see the particular value if you use where username is 
something where role is something you can find out the username or find out the last name just practice them for now i will try to make the next video tomorrow or maybe as soon as possible thank you